Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. Today's video is going to be a makeup haul. I've purchased so much makeup in the last few weeks and months since I haven't been on YouTube. I've been away doing a primary teaching diploma, so I've been on prac teaching at schools and it's just literally taken up all my time so I'm really happy to be back filming. So I have a lot of new products that I have purchased over the last few weeks that I wanted to share with you. Some of these are new holiday releases and some of these are products I have picked up a while ago so I just thought I would include them all in this haul today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. So I think we might just get started, I have so many things to talk about, so if you'd like to see all these products in this makeup haul, then please. Okay, let's start with foundations. I've picked up a couple of new foundations. The first one here is by YSL, this is the Too Chaclar All-in-One Glow. And I wanted to get this just because I've heard so many good things about it being a really beautiful, natural looking, glowing foundation. It's almost like a bit of a tinted moisturiser but with a bit more coverage and it says it's quite a fresh, dewy makeup with natural medium coverage, long lasting hydration and oil free. I do have dry skin so this sounded really amazing to me being more of a dewy finish. I'm all about that dewy finish. Especially here in Australia it's coming into summer so I really wanted a nice dewy glowing foundation that wasn't too full coverage. And I got mine in the shade number B50 which will match me when I have a tan so I can't wait to try out this one. The next foundation I picked up was this one from It Cosmetics. This is their new release, the CC Oil Free Matte Paula's Finish Full Coverage Cream and this one has SPF 40. I really like the original CC cream from IT Cosmetics so I wanted to try out this one. It's a little bit more matte, I thought this would be good in summer when you have a little bit more sweatiness and your skin might just be a little bit more oily so I thought I would pick this one up. It does say it's full coverage so I was really impressed by that because a lot of the CC creams just literally don't add anything to your skin. It's just like you've got a little bit of tinted moisturiser but it doesn't really do anything. So this one being more full coverage will actually give you coverage as well. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. And I am the shade medium tan in the Cosmetic CC Cream. This next one I did pick up a little while ago but I thought I would mention in today's video. And it is the Beauty Blender foundation that they released. This is called the Bounce liquid whip longwear foundation and I got mine in the shade 3.3 and I just wanted to try this because I thought the packaging was really innovative. It's got this little button here that you push across to open and then you actually turn the foundation like this way and you press it and the foundation comes out this little pump and it comes onto the little tray so you can pick that up with your brush or your beauty blender and I just thought that was a really good idea. I haven't seen anything like that in a foundation before so I'm excited to try this one out. I've heard mixed reviews about it, some say it's really good, some say it's not too good, so I'll definitely have to try it out, I might have to do a first impressions using this in a video as well. And the last foundation I have is from Benefit, and this was their new Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I got mine in the shade number 6, and to be honest, this is really small and it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in there. It says it has 30ml, but it really doesn't feel like that, so I'm hoping it's just quite a very thin foundation and it's just quite liquidy, meaning that you're going to get a little bit more product for what it looks like. So I'll have to test this one out, but this says it's a sheer to medium coverage liquid foundation. So it's meant to be just something very natural, very light looking, which I like to wear during the day personally. I don't like to wear anything too full coverage. I save that for more nighttime or events. So I'm hoping this one's going to be really nice. I picked up a new concealer which was released by MAC recently. And it is the Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I am so happy that they released this. Working at MAC for over four years, Studio Fix is like the cult favourite foundation for MAC Cosmetics and the fact that they've released a Studio Fix liquid concealer is just insane. I'm so happy about this. Studio Fix is like such a really good full coverage foundation so the fact that they've come out with a full coverage concealer, I can just, I can just tell that this is going to be incredible. So I got the shade NC30 and I am really looking forward to trying this. I'm going to use this in a first impressions I think because I'm just that excited to try it out. Okay, moving on to some highlighting products. If you guys know me well, highlighters are my actual obsession with makeup. I love highlighters. I have so many but I still collect more because I just can't help it. Highlighter is my favourite makeup product to use on my skin so I always find myself wanting to pick up the latest highlighters. So I do have a couple that I've picked up here. The first one is this highlighting palette from MAC and it is the Hyper Real Glow. Now this one is in the golden shade, I can't quite remember what it's called, but it has these three colours in this palette here and this is just absolutely stunning. 
These highlighters are so creamy. They just, oh my God, they just feel so soft to touch and they are so incredibly pigmented. I used to work at MAC Cosmetics for four years, so I love MAC products. I haven't actually bought a lot of MAC recently just because I've been trying out new brands and I have so much MAC makeup already. But when I saw this palette and I saw how it looked on the skin in photos, I was just, I knew I had to get it. So I can't wait to try this one out. Next, I have a holiday palette and this one was recently released by NARS. Can we look at this packaging? Like, this is just absolutely stunning. I'm in love. And this is the NARS High Voltage Highlighting Palette and it comes with three shades, 1977, Fort de France and Queen. And I mostly got this palette because I've been wanting to get the Fort de France highlighter from NARS. And when I saw it came in this palette, I thought I would just get the palette and try out the other colours. So Fort de France is the middle one, which is that beautiful champagne gold, which is my favourite tone for a highlighter. But these just look so beautiful and they're very, very soft to touch, like incredibly soft. And they are beautifully pigmented as well. They're not a very bright, full-on highlight. They're more of that subtle, natural-looking highlight. But I just absolutely love this palette and I can't wait to try out these shades. These next two highlighters I've been wanting to try for such a long time and I finally picked them up. They were on sale at the time. And they are by Artist Couture. And they are the highlighting collaboration with Jackie Aina. These are loose highlighters and they just look so unbelievably pretty. The first shade is called La Peach and the second one is La Bronze. So peach is that beautiful peachy rose tone colour which I absolutely love in a highlighter. And then La Bronze is a little bit of a darker bronze so when I have more of a tan I could use this to highlight on my face. And I love Artist Couture products. Their highlighters are absolutely amazing. So I really wanted to pick these two up and try them out. And then the last highlighting product I picked up was from the Desi and Katie collaboration, their second collaboration. They came out with Dose of Colours. I did purchase these a little while back, but like I said, I haven't been able to film a video any earlier than now. So I wanted to mention it in this video today. This is the Chasing the Sun highlighter. And can we just look at this packaging? Like, this is incredible. It's like this beautiful deep bronze colour. It's so beautiful. And this is the shade here. This is a little bit more of a bronzy peach tone highlight, but I will definitely be wearing this in summer in Australia when I have a nice tan and I can just see this looking beautiful all over the skin. Dose of Colors highlighters are so beautiful. They're so pigmented and just give a beautiful glow to the skin. So I'm looking forward to using this one all over my face during summer. And next I picked up a contour palette and this is from Smashbox and it is the... Kelly Contour Shape Bronze and Glow Palette and this one just really appealed to me because of the colours inside. They just have such a beautiful range of contouring and highlighting shades and they have this beautiful shade here which is more of like a blush and which is a blush shade so it's got everything you need in one palette. Contour, bronze, blush and highlights and I just thought the colours in here were really nice and it's going to be a very versatile product to take with me on the go or travelling and I just really liked the look of these shades. So I'm excited to try out this one. And then I also picked up another face palette. This is from Too Faced. This is their natural face palette. It's a highlight blush and bronzing veil face palette. And this packaging is just to die for. It's actually really heavy, but it's so pretty. I love Too Faced packaging. They always have something really beautiful and really girly looking. And so these are the colors in this palette. They have some beautiful blush colors in the middle, bronzes and highlights. I just love face palettes that have all three in them. They're just so versatile to use and it saves you having to pick out so many different products. You can just grab one palette and you're good to go with your highlight, bronze and blush. So this one is meant to be more of a very natural formula. So the highlighters won't be too extreme and the bronzers are just really beautiful and natural to give that nice bronze glow. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Okay, moving on to some brow products. I have two new brow products from Kat Von D that I purchased recently. And the first one here is the Kat Von D Signature Brow Precision Pencil. And I got mine in the shade Dark Brown. And I've just been looking for new brow products because I absolutely love Anastasia, Beverly Hills and Benefit. They're my two favourite brow products that I use. And I just wanted to find something different. And when I saw that these were released from Kat Von D, Kat Von D products are insane. They're amazing. So I really wanted to try this out. So it does have your spoolie brush on one end and it has a really nice fine tip on the end here. It's almost like a straight across, like it's like a rectangle shape so it's not really pointed. So that's really good to define and shape the outline of your brows. So 
I'm looking forward to trying this one. I think I'm going to use this in a first impressions video. And from Kat Von D, I also picked up the, this is the Super Brow Longwear Pomade in dark brown as well. And this packaging is just to die for. Kat Von D is so creative with her packaging and I know that she sketches all the designs herself. So I think that's really incredible. And I've just been not using pomades as much recently. I've been more into brow pencils. So I wanted to get this one just to try a new formula of brow pomade. And this color looks really good for my brows. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one. Hopefully I do. I purchased two new mascaras. And the first one here I got is the Hourglass. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I have tried this once. I used it in my previous video. And I've got to say it's my new favorite mascara. I just love the wand. It's quite thin but it just lengthens out your lashes so beautifully and you can build up how many coats you use and it just makes your lashes look so full and so long. So this is my current new favorite mascara. I absolutely love this one. And the second mascara I picked up is the new one from NARS. This is the Climax Mascara. How amazing is this packaging? It's just so different. I love that it's bright red. And this wand here is quite a bit thicker than the Hourglass one. It looks like it's gonna give a little bit more volume and it just looks, it's. The bristles are actually really fine on this one, so I'm interested to see how this one's going to work, but I have heard it's amazing, so I'm looking forward to trying it. I wanted to pick up a new fell tip eyeliner pen. I haven't used one in quite a while. The Kat Von D Trooper is my absolute favorite, but I wanted to try a different one. And when I saw this was released by Fenty Beauty, I had to try it. So this is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, and I first of all love this packaging. It's almost like a silver pink tone. It's really pretty, and the tip on this pen is so so incredibly fine that it's going to make it really easy to just draw a really thin line and do a wing on the side. So I really want to start using felt tip liners again. I tend to use more gel eyeliners so I'm going to get back into using felt tips. So I'm going to probably try this one in a first impressions video as well. When I saw these next two at MAC I definitely had to try them out and they are the new Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadows. Oh my god I love Dazzle Shadows by MAC. They are incredible. And when I saw they were coming out with liquid eyeshadows, I knew I had to try them out. So I got this bright silver one called Stars in My Eyes, which just looks so pretty. And I also got this copper bronze shade called Beam Time, which is just my kind of color that I love to use on my eyes all the time. So I'm really excited to try these out. You can use them as eyeliners as well as for like a glitter eyeliner look, or you can use them all over the lid for that beautiful shine. So I'm really excited to try these. Next, I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. The first one I actually got as a birthday present from some of my friends and I was so happy I got this because I was planning on purchasing it myself. And it is from Urban Decay and this is the Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this packaging. It's just got so many beautiful locations on it. It just makes me want to go traveling to all these tropical destinations. It's so pretty. And the colors in this palette are incredible. I'm so in love with them. I love that it has this giant mirror on top. It's so amazing. And this palette just has such a unique range of colors. Like a lot of palettes just stick to more warm or more neutral or more cool tones. This palette just has a great range of everything really. There's some bright colors. There's some darker colors to do smoky eye. There's pops of color. And I just can see myself doing so many new looks with this palette. So I'm really excited to try it out. The next palette I purchased was from the Dose of Colors and I Love Seta He collection. I know this released a while ago and I did get it a while ago, but I am going to mention it in this haul today. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so cute. It's a really good palette to travel with and I love the packaging. The colors in here are so amazing. I've already dipped into a couple of the shades. This bronze I am obsessed with. It's just the most beautiful bronze gold eyeshadow. And I really love this light peachy pink for a transition and this warm terracotta brown shade. I think that's so beautiful. I cannot wait to try this shade here. It is just the most beautiful teal aqua shade. It just looks amazing. So I'm definitely going to have to do a look with this color. But I absolutely love this palette. And I love Seda He is definitely one of my favorite Instagram and YouTube makeup artists. Her technique and the way she does her makeup looks is just incredible. She's one of my favorites. I love her so much. So I definitely wanted to support her and pick up this palette. And the next palette is also from Dose of Colors. And this was the collaboration with Desi and Katie for round two. And this is the palette. It has the same packaging as the highlighter that I showed you earlier. This is the Friendcation palette. And this is just so beautiful. I can't get over how shiny and sparkly it is. And these are the colors inside this palette. 
And I will admit, I purchased this palette mostly for this shade here because it just looks like the most beautiful olive gold eyeshadow I think I've ever seen. So I am really looking forward to trying that. But I also love these two shades here, this really bright blue and this black with like purple reflex through it. It just looks so pretty. It's got your essential warm tone shades for the transition and also some browns to darken up the eyes. So I can see myself using this palette so much coming up to summer in Australia and I can't wait to try it out and use some of these beautiful colors. So lastly are lip products and I have a few. I have more than a few, I have a lot. So firstly, I have some from the Dose of Colors collaborations with Aleph Sedahi and Desi and Katie. So I'll show you those first. So the first one I have here is a liquid lipstick called Peachy and I love the packaging of these Dose of Colors lipsticks. It's such a beautiful soft rosy pink, I love this. And Peachy is just a beautiful peach toned liquid lip color. I'm going to swatch all these just so you can see the difference and they just look beautiful. I love Dose of Colors formulas of their liquid lipsticks. They just feel so comfortable on the lips. They are so pigmented as you can see. That's such a beautiful color. They don't dry out whatsoever. Dose of Colors is probably my favorite brand for liquid lipsticks. I find myself wearing their products the most out of all the different brands I own for liquid lipsticks. So definitely recommend trying out Dose of Colors if you haven't already. And the next color is called Aesthetic and this is just a really different, unique color. It's like a burnt terracotta orangey red tone. It's really pretty. I love this color. And that's what it looks like there. Such a beautiful shade. I don't really think I have anything quite similar to this, but I just love this shade. It's something I can see myself wearing quite a lot. And the next shade is called Fraser and this is a beautiful bright coral pinky red. I love these types of colors, especially coming into summer. So I'll be wearing this one a lot. It's so beautiful. Look at that color. I can't believe the pigment on these liquid lipsticks. It's so amazing. And like I said, they're just so comfortable to wear on the lips. I absolutely love them. And next is the shade My Main. And this is just your beautiful nude brownie peach tone. I absolutely love this color. I can see myself wearing this a lot, like any time of the year, because it's just like the perfect nude shade. It's so beautiful. And next I picked up two glosses from Dose of Colors as well. The first one was the collaboration with I Love Sedahi, and this one is called Brillio, and it's just a beautiful champagne gold shiny gloss. I am so obsessed with this color. I can see myself wearing this pretty much all the time in summer. It's probably going to be a little bit hard to see, but it's a clear gloss with flecks of gold shimmer through it, and it's just so incredibly beautiful. If you just want that little bit of extra shine and glamour to your lips, then that is a colour you would definitely need to try. The second one was from the Desi and Katie collection, and this one is called The Most. And this is just something a little bit more unique. It's got some multicoloured sparkles in it, but clear gloss as well. It's got a mixture of like blue, purple, green, all different shimmer reflex in it, but it looks so beautiful. And this would just be a little bit more of a fun gloss to add to your lips, either on top of another lipstick or by itself. So I'm going to be wearing all of these colors throughout summer. Next, I have one of the Huda Beauty new Demi Matte liquid lipsticks. And I picked this one up in the shade Shiro. And this just looks like such a beautiful rose pink shade. I love these colors. I wear them all year round. And Huda Beauty is also one of my favorite liquid lipstick brands. This is the color here. So creamy on the lips. It doesn't feel dry. This is more of a creamy formula being a demi matte. So it's not going to dry down matte. It's still going to have a little bit of creaminess to it. But I really like that because I don't like anything too drying on my lips. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. And lastly, I have two lip colors from Bare Minerals. The first one here is the Bare Nude Gloss. And this one is in the color Sugar. And the second one here is one of the Bare Nude Mattes, and this one is in the shade XYZ, so these just looked really beautiful to me. They were on sale at Mecca when I went into the store a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't tried a lot of Bare Minerals products, so I really wanted to try out these. I've heard really good reviews about Bare Minerals lip products. So the first one here is XYZ, which is the matte shade, and this is just your beautiful warm rose pink tone down the bottom here. Such a beautiful nude shade. I just find myself wearing these colors non-stop all year round because they just complement any eye look that you do. 
so I'm always going to get use out of nude <laughs> lip products. And the second one is the gloss called Sugar. This is a little bit more of a pink tone, but still a little bit more neutral, like it's not a bright pink. I'm not really into brighter pinks, so that's the gloss there. And this is really pigmented, you could definitely wear this on its own, or you could add it on top of another lip colour and it would look really beautiful too. So I have lots of new lip colours to be trying out, but I'm really excited to try them all. Okay, so that was everything in this makeup haul today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.